Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through building out a multi-dimensional table using arrays in C++. An array is a collection of elements of the same type placed in contiguous memory locations that can be individually referenced by using an index to a unique identifier. To illustrate the sheer power that arrays can bring to your code, we're going to build a simple program that outputs a multiplication table or a times table as it's sometimes referred to. So to start, we have our arrays.cpp. We're going to include iostream. Make sure that we're using namespace standard. and build out the basic uh, foundation for our C++ program. Now we're going to declare an integer of, uh, this will be the rows of our multiplication table. So we'll call this num rows, and we'll set this equal to 10. And then we'll have a, another integer, and we'll call this num calls, and we'll set this equal to 10 as well. Now to declare our array, we're going to define the variable type, specify the name of the array, followed by square brackets, and then specify the number of elements it should store. So to do this, we'll write int and then product num rows. And this will develop the rows of our array, but since this is going to be a multi-dimensional multiplication table, we can also declare the array of our columns. Now we're going to write a for loop that iterates through the rows. Int row equals one is less than num rows. And then the pre increment row and now within this for loop, we are going to want to access the columns. And to do this, we'll write int call equals one. Call is less than number of columns. And then the pre increment to call. And now within this for loop, we'll actually uh, do the math which will end up displaying our product. So for this, we'll have the product array. And this will be equal to row times call. Now we want to write a, another similar nested for loop uh, that will print out the multiplication table to our user. So for this, we'll type for int row equals one. Row is less than num rows. And then the pre-increment row. And a very similar nested for loop. Call is less than num calls plus plus call. And within this nested for loop, we will see out our multidimensional array. And then we want these separated by a fair amount of space. So we'll use the slash T. We'll give that a save. And from our command prompt, we'll compile the code. And I'm expecting an error on this. All right, we'll see on number eight, or on line number eight, we get the error C2131, expression did not evaluate to a constant. And so what's, what this is saying is that the amount of memory that we allocated uh, to this multidimensional product array is not evaluating to a constant. And this is an error you'll run into um, 
for most Windows compilers, uh, if you happen to be running this program from Linux or, or a Mac terminal, you, you might actually get your uh, end up getting the desired uh, multiplication table. But if you're running this from the developer command prompt, like I am, um, our uh, Visual Studio, any uh, most Windows machines, uh, it will give you this error. And now this is because of our uh, num rows and num calls variables. Uh, they're, they're not set to constants. And because of the definition of, of the array, uh, it's throwing an error because it's not, it's not recognizing the, the amount of memory that we're providing for the array. And on compilation time, well, it's not even compiling. So to fix this or to remedy this, we need to set these integers to constants. And we do this by using this const. And now we'll give this a save. We'll clear the screen. We'll compile our code. Clear the screen again. And when we run arrays, we're given out the desired result, which is not printing out the exact way we'd want it to. So we notice again that there's something off about our table. And <clears throat> this is a quick fix. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have a C out N line right uh, after our nested for loop. And we go to compile it again. And when we go to run it, it's given out the desired output of our fully functioning multiplication table. And that is how you use const declarations and arrays to make multi-dimensional tables in C++. Thanks for watching.